的人。It's the appointed time, and we form the quorum. Welcome to the meeting. First thing on the agenda is confirmation of the minutes of our last meeting. If members have no objection, the minutes are confirmed. On the sixth of February, or since、uh, our last meeting on the sixth of February,、uh, we've received six information papers. Please refer to our agenda. Agenda for our next meeting, which is tentatively scheduled for the 18th of April. The administration has got three suggestions for us: one, development of fintech; second, financial institutions resolution ordinance, commencement notice, and protected arrangements regulation; and three, progress report on joint consultation on the proposed enhancements to the Stock Exchange of Hong Kong Limited's decision-making and governance structure for listing regulation. Since there are three items, we have to start our meeting at 10:15 and end at around 12:30. Any comments, please? If there is no objection, please invite the administration to join us now. Item four: Hong Kong's participation and membership in the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank (AIIB). Can Mr. James Lau, Under Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury, brief us on the、uh, paper, please, sir? You have about five minutes. Thank you, Chairman. We have a short presentation on Hong Kong's participation in the AIIB, and also the. A requirement on、uh, capital subscription. First,、uh, on the operation of AIIB,、uh, it was as in October 2014. Preparation、uh, was、uh, preparation started for the establishment of AIIB. There are now 57 founding members, 52 of which have signed. Uh, all the、uh, documents are on、uh, paid-up subscription, and it started its operation in June 2016,、uh, January 2016. There are nine projects in seven countries, providing a total commitment of 1.73 billion U.S. dollars. Uh, the leverage is around seven to eight times. So、um, there are、uh, six projects uh, co-financed uh, with other uh, MBDs, uh, that is the World Bank, ADB, and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. They are、uh, providing two times、uh, that、uh, the are、uh, over. By the AIB and the、uh, total value is 12.5 billion US dollars. Now we'd like to talk about the distribution of、uh, capital. They have divided that into um, um, sovereign and non-sovereign、uh, subscription、uh, in the share of 75 to 25 percent, respectively. So.、Uh, For、uh, Asian economies, although、uh, the scale、uh, is smaller, but then、uh, they 
account for a great percent of the capital. Uh, those from uh, Europe uh, account for a smaller share, and that is consensus uh, reached upon the establishment of AIIB. For the nine projects, the main in, in Central Asia and Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh and Azkaban and Amman, they have uh, those projects going on. Uh, uh, 1.73 billion dollars started this year, and uh, it will continue in 2017. The work on infrastructure, uh, uh, waterworks, and energy and highways projects. Regarding the membership, most multilateral organizations would only allow uh, sovereign uh, members. It's quite rare that um, a development bank will allow a non-sovereign membership, and uh, one of which is AIIB. We are a member of the ADB, and therefore we are able to apply to be a non-sovereign applicant. And one of the uh, requirements for application is uh, it has to be lodged by our sovereign state and that is the PRG. We have uh, requested uh, PRG to submit an application on our behalf. And then based on our GDP, Uh, we will be given a share. We'll be given our shares, and then we were just informed a few months ago that uh, we may apply uh, to a uh, join, uh, giving six billion dollars of uh, capital. One point two billion dollars uh, is paid up. Capital and the rest is caught up capital, and that's four point eight billion dollars. And then uh, the uh, paid up capital is payable over five years. So every uh, installment is two hundred and forty million dollars. As set out in paragraph fifteen of the paper, well we. Well, we've explained uh, the reasons why we apply to join. The paper is rather long. Now, we are proposing to the council that we should join the AIIB and to subscribe the paid-up shares because uh, we have a uh, deep and uh, broad financial market, and then. The professional services and financial services sectors of Hong Kong, uh, such as of project financing, bond issuance, investments, so and so forth, will stand to benefit from AIB's operations. And we should leverage on our uh, advantages as a financial center to uh, share, to have a share in the um, provision of financial services. And AIB has got many projects. Hong Kong has expertise in planning, implementation, and operation, negotiation, uh, preparation works, and uh, arbitration of such projects. So, with more participation in RIB, uh, we can also benefit our. Um, Professional services sector will have a lot of opportunities as a result of our participation, and we have uh, negotiated with AIB to set up a Hong Kong uh, sub office. Although the scale may not be too big, but we uh, want to have the opportunity to manage uh, their assets in Hong Kong, and then uh, issuance of bonds. Uh, in renminbi uh, can also uh, be done in Hong Kong, and there can be swap arrangements as well. So, from the uh, financial 
markets uh, markets point of view and also in terms of uh, financial infrastructure we really should take part in the AIIB and the AIB is one of a very small number of multilateral financial institutions in which Hong Kong can become a full member in its own right although we are not a sovereign entity so I think uh, joining the AIIB is a good demonstration of uh, the working of the one country, two systems principle. After our briefing to the panel today, we plan to, with members' support and incorporating members' comments, uh, to apply for funding from FC in the second quarter of this year. So, uh, 1.2 billion paid up uh, share and also uh, 4.8 billion billion dollars of callable uh, shares. AIB plans to hold a plenary meeting in the middle of 2017, that is around June, uh, to accept a new batch of uh, members. There are 57 members in AIB. They are uh, founding members. And for the second batch, we understand that there are 37 uh, countries or places asking to join, and Hong Kong is one of them. Our conservative uh, estimate that is that in uh, June, in mid-2017, there will be a dozen or so new members to uh, AIB, though they are not uh, founding members. We hope that we can be among uh, the latest batch of new members. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lau, for your briefing. Three members would like to ask questions. Each will have four minutes, covering both questions and answers. Mr. Chen Chen-Ning. Thank you, Chairman. Of course, I support Hong Kong's participation and uh, membership in uh, the AIIB so that there can be more opportunity for our participation in AIIB. And according to paper CB, 660-03, the paid-up capital uh, will be $2.238 million. And according to the paper, as at end 2015, the amount of procurement uh, services is up to $7.5 billion. So uh, using uh, $200 million of paid-up shares, we can get 7.5 uh, billion shares. So now, now the paid-in shares is 1.2 billion. What kind of business do you expect we can have in the next 10 years? Also, according to the same paper, it is disclosed that starting from 1997, without the paid-in part um, as to the callable part, there can be a, used as a collateral. There will be 4.8 billion dollars in callable shares with the AIIB. I'd like to know whether the CPG would be a guarantor for that. That is the second question. And the third question is, according to Chapter 5, Article 22, it is said that there should be a representative in the bank from every member, and also there can be a director or deputy director. I'd like to ask whether that is also available to Hong Kong once we are a member of the uh, AIIB, and also what will be the appointment procedure like? Thank you. As to the first question, what projects can become a kind of return for Hong Kong? That really depends on the sectors in Hong Kong and the investment sentiments in projects. Recently, as we said in our appendix to the paper, we have been seeing energy and power plants and also railway construction and also water services. When tenders are called, Hong Kong companies can express interest in these projects. We have seen the um, airport authority and the MTRCL and many engineering companies in Hong Kong also involved in a lot of
projects overseas, just like the ADB. Therefore, it is not easy to estimate how much of the um, business would be for Hong Kong, even if the paid-in shares is 1.2 billion and callable shares 4.8 billion. But we expect Hong Kong to benefit from participation in these projects. The third point about the appointment of governor and alternate governor. Every member can have a governor. There will be at least one meeting for governors every year. As we said, um, there will be one in June this year. And there are many things that governors have to approve. But uh, the board of directors would be responsible for daily operation. There are 12 seats and the uh, different members will be divided into regions. Uh, eight will be for geographical regions and four will be for non-regions. Hong Kong has the power to appoint a director but there are 57 member states and there can be up to 70 or 80 members in future. And the seats would have to be divided and there could be participation by rotation. Hong Kong talking about the voting power is 0 0.7 but the actual number depends on the shares held by different members. So we expect our voting power to be 0 0.7 and Hong Kong will have to participate in one of the regions. Our plan is to take part in the PLC region. So in the Board of Directors, we'll be able to appoint directors that we support. And then as to the guarantee, as far as we understand, there is nothing of this sort, but we'll have to confirm it. From what we understand, it is not like the ADB uh, where the sovereign power will act as the guarantor. We, we can uh, take a look and then we can confirm it later. Is it that there is voting taking place in another room? We must suspend our meeting for a while now. Okay.